So for today's video, I'm making two DIYs. The first one is these napkin rings. Um, I'm making them from these little plastic pieces that came with one of those shelves like that you kind of stack one on top of the other, the little plastic shelves for like storage rooms or garages. And um, they were holding the rods, um, like the ends of the rods. I don't know what they were holding, but they were... They came in the packaging and we kept them. And I'm going to be painting them in this chalked linen white paint. Um, so I'm just spray painting them. And I put them on this rod so that I could turn it and have them dry nicely that way because I figured that would be the easiest way to spray paint them. And I'm just doing one coat because they're white already. I just wanted them to be a little bit more of a rich white rather than the... Um, kind of see-through clear white. So once they dried, I went ahead and I got these um, orchids. They were actually from centerpieces from my wedding. So um, I just had a bunch left over. So I'm going to just clip the, um, the flowers off. And like I said, it's a super easy DIY. So the next part of this DIY is just to um, clip them off using whatever you want, but I'm using these shears. Um, I find that to be the easiest. Um, and then I clip them off and I'm going to attach them with hot glue to the rings. And that's it for the DIY and they make such cute little napkin rings. So you just want to make sure that your hot glue is pretty hot and that you've cut those flowers almost all the way to the like to the flower part. So once those are done, I move on to my next DIY. Now this video is a part of a challenge hosted by three lovely ladies, Crafty Lini, Indiana Jones, and DIY with Nadia. If you haven't had a chance to check out their channels, please check them out. I'll have their links in my description below. They're super creative ladies, so you won't want to miss checking out their channels. Um, for the challenge, we had to create a video um, for breast cancer awareness. And um, so for the video, we had to either do a tablescape, a DIY, whichever we wanted. Um, it just had to have something pink in it. Um, this is a super great challenge to be a part of because breast cancer um, has probably affected all of us in some way or another. You may have known someone who had breast cancer or we may have um, had it ourselves or we may have known someone who knew someone who had it. So somebody who was directly affected or whichever. And 
Um, so this is a great way to bring awareness to that and um, to honor those women who have fought and survived or who we've lost um, or who continue to fight. If you're brand new to my channel, my name is Vesna and on this channel I do a whole bunch of different DIYs, trash treasures, thrift flips, furniture painting, um, any kind of home decor DIY pieces, I do them. Um, love creating pieces to decorate my house, so um, that's what I do on my channel. So if that's the kind of stuff you like, usually my... Um, like I have all sorts of taste, but I love making old things new, but to look old, if that makes sense. Um, so if that's the kind of stuff you like, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button if you liked this video and leave me a message below letting me know what your favorite part was of this video. So for my next DIY, I'm going to be using these Hurricane vases. I have two of them, as well as these Gerber daisies. I think these Gerber daisies came from like a centerpiece from a baby shower or something like that. I don't know. Or I might have bought them. I had them in my like box of florals from years and years ago. So I'm not entirely sure where they came from. Um, so I'm going to be, I'm kind of playing around with it, whether I want to wrap the pink fabric around the vase or just put it in. Um, I kind of went two ways and you guys can let me know which way you like. Um, if you, you know, if you would have done it the this way or the other way, but I'll show you what I wound up choosing after I saw it. So I looked at these and I wasn't, um, I was cutting down the flowers so that they could be the same height. And then um, I put the fabric in and I went and I looked at them from further away and I thought, ah, this is too simple. So I did wind up wrapping the fabric around with a, um, with a hot glue gun. So I continued to wrap this around just adding the hot glue um, first at the beginning and then on my second uh, wrap around and I did this because I didn't want the hot glue to show through too much so then I wound up wrapping it around and then um, just at the end putting some hot glue. Unfortunately my phone stopped recording so I did not cat I did not record that part but here are the finished pieces. I think these turned out super cute. Um, I love them. If you also like them, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you can see more of my videos. These um, will be displayed on a tablescape that I made for the same playlist over on my Vesna TV home. So make sure you check that channel out as well. As well, check out the playlist and check out the three hosts. Um, this is, like I said, a great challenge to be a part of and to be watching. Thanks for stopping by. Have an excellent day and stay safe.